right. it's about to start. All right, you good to go. Right. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dion. Was just thinking here. Right now, we about to be at to Miss Marvel official trailer. You know, we got the guys here. Let them talk. They talk. Um, hey guys, it's Dion. Ways of thinking. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, now yeah, it changes when you're on the street. <laughs> Yeah, it's changed. Uh, <laughs> the game has changed now, Chance. I have the power. <laughs> oh my god, yo. <laughs> Look at him. Two parts get that no hand word. work out in there. Yeah, no yeah, humanoid. Um, That's why you be tamping them keyboards hard as shit. I'm going to be loud as hell. (laughs) Well, it's all the stress of you motherfuckers all all night. We got to finish up so we can get to the trailer. All right, right now we about to be at to this. All right, let's start this off. One, two, three. Let's do this. We really wish ourselves. We didn't name ourselves. Okay. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. You get what? High school. What the hell is Mala. Another adventure shirt. <laughs> Cute. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You are a weirdo. Boys. Excuse me. Yeah. What Scott Pilgrim shit is this? My shirt. Sorry. But you're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Really? Come on. Do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch or is it sort of like maybe the right? I spend too much time. Do you it's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. That's a fantasy too. Something happened to you? You know why? Did you hear something? Come on, out. What does it feel like? Cosmic. I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Do you know what you are? So this is okay. a series then. Okay. I thought it was now, I'm not sure right. if it was Initial the stream thoughts. or my internet, but I missed a big chunk of that tr- trailer where it just, wow. kind of, uh, just kind of froze. Damn. Like Do you want to go back or you um I mean I feel like I got the main gist of it. Like it didn't seem terrible, but one, so this I, is like the what parts did you did see? What parts did I you mean, see? I mean, I saw most of it, but in the middle, it just kind of froze. I'm kind of confused as to why they changed her powers. Yes, because one, I get, I guess they're trying to make her powers more like Captain Marvel's, but that's also kind of the point of her character that she's not like Captain Marvel, and her shape shifting powers have to do a lot with her character arc. With her trying to find her sense of identity. That's so. weird to me because now I seem like it seems like Marvel is trying to really put Captain Marvel to the forefront. Like we watched WandaVision. We had whatever her name is, she's supposed to have some type of Captain Marvel powers. Yeah, it's kind of different, but it's sort of the same thing. You know, we got uh no. her herself. It's not uh, Captain to Marvel. interrupt you, Dion, but how do you feel about them trying to make her very different from Mr. Fantastic since we know that he's coming in soon? I Wait, mean, on, uh, Fantastic you could still do it, they're different characters, like, because they're they they're, clearly they're took away the, the stretching, yeah. it made it more like a Green Lantern type where she can construct things with the bracelet she has. She's I mean, like it sounds it now. sounds cool different. in paper, but it, at the same time, it still feels like a Captain Marvel thing. I don't, I don't even like her costume. Like her costumes are trash. Like it doesn't look like it's fine. It's her tough. initial one. Nah, the like one with the helmet. Uh, uh-uh, that is yeah, terrible. Yeah, but that's a, that's a Captain Marvel costume she was wearing. That's like 
I, I'm sorry, like the, the she's choice probably of, not gonna be the, the best costume she had was the original from the comics. That yeah. I'll give it that, but like the other ones was like cheaply. Yeah, but I, that was I, I understand what they're cos- I mean, not Captain America, Captain Marvel cosplay. <laughs> yeah, but I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to do Spider Man again. They're trying to find another teenager. They already grew up Spider Man. Now they try to do Spider Man Homecoming again with Miss Marvel for like a oh. TV show format. Like no, you, no, you look at so the cool. art this style of that trailer. Really, no, dude, this is the art style that I got. The vibe was like an '80s vibe, right? So you're talking. It felt like it felt like a teenage high school the, no, superhero to film to me. To me, okay, <laughs> it it really felt like we were going all the way back over to like. The whole, <laughs> the, whole, like, the, the initial part of, of Captain Marvel, okay? Yeah. Because that was back, I forget when that, that was like with the 60s, 70s, something like that oh, is when that took God. place. And that was the art I, style I of the trailer. Not to mention the costume choices. Like, it just, it really, really felt like they're really trying to make a Captain Marvel. We series. got that. I got wouldn't say that, that was Wonder anything Woman. like Spider-Man. Yeah, you got some hate in your heart for this. I, I'm, I don't know. Like we got that with Wonder Woman 1984, and we already know how that went. I just I don't feel know like if everybody's seen in that. The, I still haven't seen it. I, I, I think that movie's a little overhated. Like I think it was okay. It wasn't it, like awful, but it wasn't good. It just I wasn't. It. It's like it. I had fun watching it. It just when I was watching, I was so disappointed. I'm like, it what definitely happened? felt really cheap compared to the first Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. Cheetah Girl was it because of Cheetah Girl? No, it's no, just, it's the, just the, whole the effects movie. in general. The, the villain, just... there was no villain, nothing. Like, what was Cheetah Girl for then? Was it she, she a villain? Yeah, but all right, let's get back on track yeah, because yeah. like I, it's not a DC Dallas, discussion. Dallas, it, yeah, yeah, Dallas had a good point there. Yeah. I was saying that this doesn't feel like we are in the target audience for this. It feels like uh, no, a teenage not. CW kids drama. Yeah, I like agree. Something, which is uh, my like, biggest it, issue with it. It reminds me of the show Riverdale because, like, it's not for adults; it's for teenage people. No, and, Riverdale's just not for human beings. That's, <laughs> yeah, because like, what kind of shit is that? Shit. <laughs> like, that's not Archie or Jack. It, it looks that's more bullshit. like Star Girl. If you watch, well, I, I know Star Girl is a pretty good show. The CW. But, like, it, yeah, it looks like a CW type of show. Like the, the powers don't look all that. It's, it's very similar to Captain. Uh, Marvel. I, I'm trying to figure out. They just threw all the budget to Moon Knight and just skipped yeah, out on like, the budget. I'd rather yeah. watch Moon Knight. Very than limited like, for what I'm not show. intrigued to what I saw. So, so I know how it comes from the bracelets. Yes, that's this? what um, they made sure to highlight. She doesn't have that. any powers. It looks so like she found those bracelets, or so she's sort. not an inhuman. I doubt it because they're not going to try to tap into the humans. <laughs> I, <anytime question. laughs> like I have no, I have never heard of this character before. So and I can't blame you. Is she supposed to be the first Indian superhero? Pakistani? I believe. Pakistani. Okay. I might be wrong. Uh, wait. But I yeah, believe yeah, that's. I believe she's Pakistani. Yeah, because I never heard of this superhero before until today. It's like, but um, here's the thing, though. Okay. They're pushing a lot of Captain Marvel type of characters. Yeah, they need to. Like America Chavez, whatever her name is. America she's, Chavez. She's in Doctor Strange. Like the tra- in the trailer, you see her running around, and she has the actual powers of Kamala Khan because you can see her actually stretching her hands and stuff like what? that. If, I think that's an edit in the trailer. That punch no, looks like America she stretched does, her hands, but no, her I think it's is, trickery. She has super strength. Not strength. the problem is it seems yeah. like they switch powers. Like with Cat Miss Marvel and her, it seemed like they switch powers. I'm telling you, you're gonna start. Am, you see her body stretching, like her body was stretching I, in the trailer. I am ninety nine point nine percent. Bro, her body was certain. stretching. That she does not have. Because why would they give America Chavez the stretchy powers? Bro, trailer. Look, I don't, I don't think know what's going. Has the stretchy powers? They're gonna try to keep no, it too right. No. Fantastic. Like, fantastic. I want you to rewatch that trailer and tell okay, me she didn't stretch her limbs. Shut up for ten seconds, please. Dion, what are you talking right. about? Uh, you think I'm crazy? All right. Okay. What are you talking about? To... America Chavez? What? Stop! Okay. All if right. they're trying to differentiate her from Mister Fantastic, so he's the only one with stretchy powers. 
Why would they switch the stretchy powers with somebody who had stretchy powers and somebody who doesn't? That doesn't make any sense, <laughs> logically. Marvel so, does that all the time. More likely when? When they do that? Bro, like the movies, like they do that all the time. What? What? I never seen them do that. I never seen them do that. I, I can't agree with that. I, I think Chance was onto something. Honestly, they're not gonna tap into the power of the Inhumans yet. Like that's just point. I think they're never. This gonna be a good couple more years Dallas. until they're Didn't gonna they touch make the Inhumans. Inhumans show like a. Black they did. It yeah. sucked. It's. Still, I, wait, remember, no. I remember. I remember thinking of... reacted to the trailer to it a long time ago. Yeah, like, that's wow. that's why they're probably yeah. not gonna tap into that because that the one where they're in the moon and he went and to Earth. They're... If they're not gonna, they're not gonna explain an entire like subset of heroes, you yeah. know, for to, to have one character in it. Like you have to remember, Miss Marvel, she has some popularity over some of the other heroes because I mean, she was just in you know the Avengers video game, for example, right? Yeah. Like that game wasn't great, but still millions of people played that game. You know, granted they lost ninety eight percent of their player base in the first <laughs> two days, but. Still, people saw her. She's a fairly she was... uh, popular comic character, too. Right. So I just she's probably more popular than Captain Marvel, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. So it's probably just easier to give her a whole new set of powers and throw her in there and kind of, like, create, you know, whatever explanation they're going to create of, like, how you know, however the bracelets give her power similar to Doctor Strange, right? Um, with the, the cape, anyways, right? His flight. So I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, but. that's trash. Oh my goodness, Marvel, what are you doing? Okay, Doctor Strange. I'll give it a benefit of the doubt. Like I haven't seen it, but they got Sam Raimi to do it. It seems like it's going what to. What do you mean you haven't seen it? Hasn't come out yet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. That is yeah, a factual statement that he just made. <laughs> yeah. coming out. I literally just like, forgot what out. I was about to say. Like, <laughs> when does it come out? When does Doctor Strange 2 come out? It comes out like next Doctor week. Strange, yeah. Like, May? May. 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 Yeah, May. 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 Okay. So I'm curious to see where they're going to go for it with the future of Marvel with this. Because this should be the next big thing. They're, this is the year of, the, uh, I guess, the multiverse. Like yeah, DC already that. pushed, yeah. DC already pushed that, May you know, flashpoint. So, oh yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't want to get too off topic talking about DC, but um, I'm just saying I mean, it's relevant because of what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but I mean, the trailer from what I I think I saw about half of it, but uh, it looks alright. I guess it just. Yeah, it really looked like it was a high school kid, and that was the yeah. focus of it. It didn't really seem like it was going to be anything spectacular. It looked like something that was saved by the bell. That's what I'm saying. Like, the first yeah. Spider-Man was like that. The first had the, the teen type of Spider-Man, but it still was good. Like, I'm not saying, like, the vibe is going to be bad. It's just the way how they show, like, the scenes that they showed in the trailer, it just... It disappointed me. I still wanted the original powers and stuff like that, but I want the seriousness too, like the realness of the story, not just all comedy and jokes. Like it's really. Oh, is this your first MCU movie? It's not, <laughs> but like it's not, but like it's time to change that around. We don't want to keep They're seeing that over and over because it's been successful for them for so long. And for well, it seemed so like much. Moon Knight is that 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 change. That they're going to try to provide yeah, like a more darker have MCU. a couple of outliers every now and then that are a little different, but for the most part, they're going to stick with the formula that's been working for them. Cool. Yeah. I'm waiting for that She Hulk show. That's all I'm waiting for. That, I hope that's good. I've seen like a, a, a image of her, it doesn't look right to me. Like, I don't know. I don't know yeah, what they're trying to do. Like, it's still too early. How can, it's like yeah, the, sh- yeah, the trailer hasn't come out yet. You can't judge it just now. Wait until the trailer comes out and look at it. That's what I think. Right. Dal- Dallas has disappeared. Oh yeah, I have Dallas no idea. has vanished. His internet crapped out on him again. So I don't, I don't know. know how we recording this. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> it's uh, we're kind of stuck recording live, this right now. It's a live stream, not a recording. 
Yeah, live streaming. Oh, like, he's the one that can stop the live streaming. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I don't know uh, how long we. So we're here. stuck here. <laughs> so we're stuck here for a while. So we're like, stuck here. if it's a live stream, anything I say can be held against me in the court of law. Damn. Yeah. Terrence is skipping his senior year of high school. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, chill, chill, chill. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chris Hansen would like a word with you. What? 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 <laughs> what the see, yeah. And then you get mad when niggas can tell you the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yo, this shit is funny. <laughs> oh, I hope Dallas comes back soon because like, he has to end this. So, what do you guys want to talk about? Care Bears? Hell yeah, <laughs> Care Bears reboot. Let's get it. Care Bears reboot. I want to see Care Bears reboot. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Uh, As Grumpy Bear. Timothy like Chalamet. Anya oh Taylor God. Joy. We just name everybody. What do all the film nerds like? <laughs> I don't know. What do all the film nerds like? Um, they all like the same five actors. And then yeah. they throw in that one black person for diversity's sake. Terrence Howard <laughs> as um Let's Papa talk Smith. about how none of these Marvel stuff is gonna be as good as the Batman though. Oh hell yeah. yeah. So we already talked about the Batman though. The I, Batman, mean, I mean the no Batman, way home was though. better. Or it was Batman, not but... get the fuck out of here. No way home. Was, I had more fun well, with this is I had more fun. No way home was more fun to no way yes. home was more fun to watch. Batman was more depressing to watch. Bro, what? it was just no, like, okay. How know. about how about we talk about how Marvel's using all these TV shows to introduce these new heroes and throw them oh, in yeah. the cinematic universe now? So if you if you don't have Disney Plus and you go to the theater and you pay you know fourteen bucks to go watch a three hour movie, you're gonna have no idea as to well, what's that's going on. Well, that's on them. Because <laughs> yeah, that's on them. Because they don't have Disney Plus. Like, who the hell's this person? Oh, she was in One Division. What the fuck's one division? Yeah. Go watch one like, division. Hey, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it. All know, right, I think it's time series. we yeah. wrap this up. Yeah, that's oh, right. Wrap it up. Dangerously off topic now. Jesus uh, fuck. All right, so uh, yeah, that was what we thought of the Miss Marvel trailer. Obviously, we weren't interested since we spent about ten minutes talking about other things. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, oh, oh, he's it's, back. Uh, yeah. It's one there of those. Is. It's one Came of those. Came back at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> they tried to kick me because I was going to say something bad about Disney Plus Marvel shows. Uh, already yeah. said. <laughs> they couldn't hold me. You already said much. something bad. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. sent the Disney no. ninjas after you. So, so really? speaking of Marvel, this, this is, show, this have is you seen those... Daredevil season one yet? Hey. All right. No, we're we're done with that. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's no, end. No. Stay on the I'm not this doing this. We're done. Like, there's nothing else to discuss. You about guys fit it. All right. This All right. Is, this uh, is last one of question. Those shows. This is one of those shows one that I think question. is okay. going to be very much in the realm of I'm going to watch it just to watch it. Just to but watch it. Yeah. Not because yeah. I'm excited to watch it, right? I'm going to watch it to keep up with what's going on in the yeah, So it's basically like doing homework. I didn't even want to touch Hawkeye. Like I still haven't seen this. Shit. Good. I do not. I haven't seen it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I, 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 uh, you're missing some I, popcorn from Hawkeye, my boy. It was I. It was better. I thought it was Loki, probably the. Yeah, I thought oh, okay. it was probably the second. I'm still on episode two of Loki. Loki oh, is straight dumpster fire. I no, it is not dumpster dark. fire. No, yeah, what is wrong with you? I don't that think it's wrong. Wrong. Loki is the best one of them even, all. Loki wasn't even. Oh my god! I'm not even lie. Okay, you know what? Good. I have the camera. Let me. Yeah, let me you got the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, tell us, tell us, chance. <laughs> First of all. I don't want to see Loki go through the exact same character development that he's already done four different times. Two, like, why is Loki the dumbest person in the entire show? Like, he's <laughs> always five steps behind everybody. And isn't he supposed to be, like, in the first Thor movie, he's fighting Thor. In the first Avengers movie, he's no-selling punches from Captain America. And then all of a sudden, like, he's just doing kung fu uh, fight choreography. <laughs> what all of his power? Like, yeah. what was that? They have his power. Right. He can shape shift into people. You mean Why you didn't like the powers soft, where you man. could bring a knife out of thin air? You didn't yeah. like that? Oh, well, there you go. And he shape shifted like into a guard? The, yeah, oh. like the power where he turned into D.B. Cooper? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't, here's the thing with Marvel in general. Oh. I hate when they make their characters just so soft. Like Venom, like, you know, there's certain characters that are supposed to be scary or mysterious. You want yeah, them to be that. That's, that's they so always want to make it. 
I, I understand. No, it's so, Marvel too. No, but oh, MC, like, Sony was in when, charge of no. and all that. Stop they talking about life. Sony. I'm, okay, not, you saw I'm, Infinity War. You on. saw Infinity War. You see what happened to the Hulk, and now the result <laughs> is in Endgame. Where he's talking, no. he's Professor Hawk now. Bro, Thanos knocked some has... sis into Hawk. Okay, <laughs> a different and it's crazy. Like the right to Spider Man like, and all their no. stuff. Like, I, I, I want to actually let this keep going. Like, I, <laughs> yo, bro, it's a, it's a Venom, this turned to something else. It, this turned to something <laughs> else. Like, this turned into the low key hate circle. <laughs> and then Fox has Fantastic Four this, and the X Men. Loki show. I want to see the full range of Loki's powers. I want to see Loki be the You'll see that in season two. be manipulating people rather than just being strung along for the journey the entire. You'll see time. that in season two, maybe yeah. whenever it returns. You gotta wait a season Fuck to see that. Here. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Loki was better in that one episode of What If than he was in the entire Loki show. Oh, right? yeah, but that was yeah, a different not, dimension of Loki. I have not seen what not that right. was a different dimension yeah. of Loki. Nah, what if it's hard? What if it's hard? the same issue like that I have with that episode. Hawkeye is the same issue I have with Loki. They flip it, the so you get like. it's Loki, but it's the other version of Loki that's the main character halfway through the show and continuing. That's the yeah. problem I have with Hawkeye. They make you think, oh, it's going to be the Hawkeye we know, but then they flip it on its head and say, oh, no, it's this Hawkeye. <laughs> so we get bamboozled into thinking we're watching something. What do you mean bamboozled? We knew the new Hawkeye was going to be the main focus of the show. But she doesn't need to be the main focus of the show. Yeah. We already I'll know rather Hawkeye see finish his story out and then get to her. Well, the dude, we didn't even like finish his own story. I know the rolling story, story is over with. I would love to see like a back story or like some type of prequel where it focuses around that. Like, I think that would be oh. more interesting than automatically introducing a whole new Hawkeye. Like, come on, yeah. man. Like, and she's already better than him. She ki- possibly killed. She's not better. They just disrespected him. Like he, he she like give killed her own, at this point. I don't at think this point, I don't give her I think her own they show. made it pretty clear she was not better than him yet. She's not better him than him yet. She's still learning. Well, I mean, they made her own show. Just Kate Bishop she still her has own a show. long way to go. What I've been hearing is that is you know, true, she actually. somehow was right. better. Like, she didn't have to hijack Clint's show. Uh, you know, just give you, her her own show. You have an argument there, but at the same time, they had to show her becoming. They couldn't do that in her own show, like they're doing for Miss Marvel. Like I, mean, I don't think people were asking for a Miss Marvel show. I uh, see, but I feel like Hawkeye was more of a send off to Hawkeye. And, yeah, exactly. And it was That's a poor I one, though. Show. It was a poor one at that. <laughs> I have no opinion. I didn't watch a it. send that like. Oh, uh, they did. He's a still Marfa. in the universe. He's and he's they still did a Marfa, working. Karen, between that, her, him and Yolena, they did a Marfa moment. See, here's the th- I love Marvel, but at least DC did something right with Peacekeeper. Well, Peacemaker. Peacemaker. I don't, yeah. Peacemaker I keep saying hard. that. I'm not going to lie to you. Peacemaker, that yeah, shit is hard. Peacemaker is hard. I, still need to that, I don't know. Peacemaker might be better than Batman for being okay, honest. Relax. No, okay, relax. No, no, okay. no. All right. Relax. All right. Relax. 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 Come on, Batman is the best <laughs> thing that's coming out yes. in 2022, yes. period. Yes. Peacemaker that's coming out this year. It came yep. out last year, didn't it? Peacemaker came out. This it don't year. matter. It don't matter if it came out this year, next year. It's still better than Batman. Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's still big. I mean, the Batman fan. I mean, I love that movie too to much. I, I gotta man, see that again. Like, man, listen, mm-hmm. my guy, my Fire. guy's out here wearing yes. a Superman shirt. Okay, for a Marvel review, so and a Pokemon hat. Man. What? This intellect, this intellectual, just like yeah, crazy. Yeah. Superman's a go. What can I say? He is. They they just no. disrespect him. Nah. They disrespect oh, y'all, him. Um, y'all seen Superman Bruh. and Lois? Like, yeah, Superman yeah, and Lois is fire. Like, that, shit, that shit's good. I can't I wait. It's good. It like they, they, I don't know when they'll ever make another good Superman movie. They have a perfect Superman. They just scared to use him. I don't know why. Like <laughs> because he's too it's, powerful. It's That's crazy. Why. No, he's, no, you could do the, crazy that's the Superman stories. Problem. No, the it's Superman not. problem. It's not. You could, powerful. Powerful. you could do perfect okay. stories that with whole his power. Okay, one second. Just that whole Superman being overpowered thing. That's only when you compare him to characters from other universes. 
Superman is probably not even the in the top fifty most powerful things in the DC universe. It's Superman is basically this current God. DC universe. Well, maybe in this current DC universe, and you know, because we already know threw the Doomsday out. card out, so you can't really do that. But there are anymore. yeah, you can argue that, out Doomsday. and there are people that could argue that Barry Allen is more powerful at his full potential is more powerful than Superman. Yeah, but, he still can't run yeah. in a straight line, so I'm not going to believe Yo, that. Yo, Batman can squash the mean, flat, man. I, I mean, it what? depends on the circumstances. But anyway, yeah. um, but that whole Superman being overpowered thing, I don't think that's true because there he fights he fights a lot of people that should be or are stronger than him, and that's not what it's that's not the point of it. Like, I don't think the writers understand that though. That's my like. You would think they would try by now, as long as this universe has been going. Mm-hmm. And the best we've gotten was him fighting Batman and then fighting Doomsday. That wasn't really Doomsday. They could have saved. And then he's it. out for the rest of the series. They brought in Doomsday way too fast. They could have brought saved Doomsday for the end, like the final. And then he already got his redemption I, in yep, Justice League. So. Yeah, I think I don't know. I, I understand what they were trying to do. But and maybe if we had gotten the full Snyder vision, we would have gotten what we wanted. Though from what I've heard, what he wanted to do in subsequent movies, we might have been better off for. All <laughs> oh yeah, you heard, you heard those rumors too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, maybe we're better off in this in this timeline. But the Superman, <laughs> timeline, had, the Superman and Lois is really good and. But, you know, it might get the CW curse of after two or three seasons, it turns into garbage. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. yeah, like Supergirl and, and like Green Flash. Lantern. Green Lantern. Yeah. Yeah. And the Flash postseason. Oh, uh, Flash got four. really bad. No, they have Flash fighting other Which Flashes one? with lightsabers, bro. I like what? <laughs> bro, oh, what? Oh, 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 I, I, I have not seen that. I have not seen that season yet. They're doing bro. what now? What the speedsters are fighting with lightsabers, son? I'm not yeah. playing. Are you f- bro. <laughs> what? He's in the speedsters. No, he's, he's telling the what? truth. Oh my yeah. fucking bro, god! Can vouch, Why would they do it? When what I saw that it, shit, I actually Church. had to turn off my TV for a bro. Day. I turned up, bro. I, I had to go <laughs> for a second. I'm like, yo, thank god I stopped watching the show. Like, why two, the bro. fuck is the flash using a lightsaber? For real? Oh. And then and then they got Kid Flash in that joint, and then the CGI looks horrible. Yeah. <laughs> CGI is getting oh, worse by the season. I think the season bro, I'm that saying. they're putting out right now has been okay so far. But maybe it's just because it's just not been as shit as the last four seasons. So I mean, Chance and I already had this discussion, right? Yeah. The, the curse of the CW shows is that they start out really strong, and then you know they gradually less people are watching them, which means that they're gradually pushing less and less budget to the shows. Yeah, and it just creates this, out this exponential decay. Right, Greenland like started last... out strong, and then it just went downhill after that. The last season of Supergirl, they did like John John season of the show. They just stopped making him turn green. John Jones, <laughs> like you mean John just, Jones, right? Yes, John John. <laughs> you said John John. John John. <laughs> oh That's John John. Said. John Jones. Hey John. It's not Jones. It's what is it's, happening? It's a Martian hey, name. Yes, Martian Manhunter. John it's Jones. Not... <laughs> not John John, is it? John Johns. John John, 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 John Cena. Anyway, right. John like the Philly <laughs> slang for joint. Come John. On, John, yo, John, John, <laughs> John, yo. It's not John. I don't believe it. It's, and it, no, it's John, yo. Anyway, oh, no. <laughs> damn! He's about to get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yo, yo, Chance Skull about to bust out his, his, his oh, snapback right now. Sweet oh, oh. <laughs> Sweet <tea. laughs> He's still going. John, yo. John. Yo, this man is crying. Look at God this. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> he didn't take his glasses off. Oh, not that fucking deep. Oh. He's in the living room dying right now. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! You good? 
<laughs> that's, that's something new, John. Uh. All right. So we'll be doing Dallas, that. please end this. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> if we were to give this trailer a grade out of 10, what would you give it? And go in order. I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. Humanoid. I'm going to give it a four, mostly because I know nothing of this character. And <laughs> gonna be like the the uh, Riverdale for, teen, for teenage uh, fans. I Yeah, I just don't know nothing about this character. It's like, what? I just give it a four. All right, Dion. I give it a two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got to explain that. A two? <laughs> Bro, it was nothing in there that really excited me. I didn't care about none of the powers. I seen I seen too many superhero movies to be like, oh, ah, uh, you know, like it wasn't like something that gripped me like Moon Knight or like even Moon Knight was okay, but like still like it didn't really grab me. And I didn't really like what I saw in the trailer. So uh, that's why I give it a two. All right. Terrence. I give it like I give it like a five. It would have been a six if they didn't have that dumbass weekend song in the trailer. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I, I keep the stack. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just looks like it looked like it looked like a Netflix original, you know, like you know, like bad ones. You feel me? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be sleeping you on know, Netflix originals, man. They, they Netflix kids. Yeah, yeah, like 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 teenage Netflix dramas, like you yeah. know, the trash ones. You know, nah, like preteen Netflix originals. So like, Netflix kids. Yeah. I mean, not, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Netflix kids probably got some heat on there. I I don't know. <laughs> I'll I'll check for myself one day. Still. Hey, do they have Paw Patrol on Netflix? <laughs> they don't actually. Uh, right. No, they have they have the Cuphead show. The Cuphead. Matter of fact, oh, Paw Patrol is Paw Patrol is unironically probably gonna be better than that show. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> All right, chance. Okay. Um, I'll give it. A, I'll also give it a five. Um, to Dion's point earlier, most super the last Batman, the Batman was the first superhero trailer in a long time that got me really excited because most yeah, of the times I when I see a superhero trailer, because I've seen so many at this point, so I'm just looking. Okay, this is what's happening. This is what the character is. This is what they're after. Okay, this one, I mean, nothing happened that got me like excited but nothing happened that made me not excited either it just a trailer that happened i don't like that they changed her powers but aside from that it was just fine i guess like and like dallas said earlier i guess i'm just not the target audience yeah joey last but not least oh yeah uh totally agree um not the target audience but I would say, and my criteria here, okay, as far as the trailer goes, they're more or less designed to get you hyped to watch the thing. So in my opinion, right, if the trailer doesn't <laughs> do anything that makes me want to actually watch the show, <laughs> then, then it's going to end up with a low rating. You know what I mean? Oh, I, like, uh -huh. My face, oh my, my face here literally explains it all. There's, there's not much more that you could say than this. So I give it, I give it a three purely on the basis of as a trailer, it didn't do its job. I'm not excited to watch the show. I know I'm going to watch it. I'm gonna watch it, but it just, it just, it just did. It didn't do yeah. its job. So, so what did you give it? So I gave the trailer a three. So Just because I'm I'm rating it purely on the basis of it being a trailer, and a trailer's intent is to generate interest in the show, and it didn't generate interest for me in the show. So if I'm correct, out of all of us here, I gave this the highest rating. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I gave yeah. it a six, and all of you went lower. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. I you do not correct. like this. Bro. I guess I guess yes. I'm the actual MCU fan here. You're the Miss Marvel poster boy. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, mean, I did not expect that. If you would have asked me before, I you see, said, I would have gave it a six. Of fucking, what's that song name? Blind and Lights. We can, we can. Oh, it, yes. it, the music it brought just, it down for you. Yeah, to me, I would like, give it more if I knew who this character was. But I'll find out who it is when I watch it. You know, nobody watches cable anymore, right? Because, like, why would you pay for cable? But yeah. 
Be you know, to me, if I were to like, you know, turn on the TV or something, and I saw just a spontaneous commercial advertising some like, like Target back to school, right? Like when they have those campaigns, like that's what that trailer was like. <laughs> like I'm no right. more interested to go to Target and buy pencils than I was to go watch that movie. Or, or uh, TV uh, show. Be like Target trying to sell Marvel backpacks, and they put things in front of them. <laughs> yeah, of right. Course. right. Like, hell that, yeah. That's what I equated it to. I mean, especially it's, on it's... like Nick Junior. Man, he said Nick Junior. But generally, I mean, genuinely, like I felt like it was a commercial that was designed mm-hmm. for for kids to generate that interest. So it just it just didn't for me. So it got a really low rating. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys coming here to discuss this trailer. I appreciate right, everyone watching, right, right. and we'll be back hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, humanoid so. willing. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but yeah. uh, thanks for watching, and peace. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm just gonna let it linger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting you, Dia. I'm getting you. Get out of here. <laughs>